Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna show you what's in my bag for Coachella. Well, actually this was last year's version of what was in my bag, but it's pretty much not gonna change because I'm gonna pack the same thing. First things first. The most important thing you need to have in your bag is sunglasses and sunscreen. I know this doesn't look like sunscreen because some dermatologists recommended stuff, but yeah. Um, I actually like the spray one better only because it's easier to put on and um, it's not as messy. So I definitely would pack one of those. No matter how good you think your eyes are, you need your sunglasses. It's freaking bright outside and you need to protect your eyes. So either put this on your face or put it in your bag or do something with it. Just use them as often as you can because they're good for your health or at least your eye health. I brought a towel. This is just a regular beach towel that you could use and you can use any size, but probably the thinner the better. But at the same time, you still want something that is long enough that you can sit on. The only reason why I recommend to bring this is because it is disgusting on the floor. Like people are puking on the ground and you do not want to sit on it. So that's why you have a towel to protect from that. And it could also serve as a double utility and you can use it as a blanket if you don't end up using it to sit on. Bring a small pouch of for your wallet or some kind of smaller wallet device thing. You don't need a big wallet because then you're just having more crap you have to worry about. So the only things that I would put in here is probably about 20 bucks a day because you need at least five water bottles because I will go into that in a moment. I think it's $2 per water bottle, so you need at least $10. If you're gonna have, be there all day, you need at least drink five water bottles, I would recommend. And then if you, above all else, you need water. So if you don't end up eating, then that's where the extra $10 is for, for food or anything. But um, yeah, $20 cash and then your credit cards or your IDs and your shuttle passes if you have them. You bring hats, whether or not it's sunshine or nighttime, you need to somehow protect your head in some way. Um, if it's hot outside and you need to protect your face, wiper hats are great. I would also use a baseball cap, but I, the only reason why I like this particular hat is because how thin it is and it breathes so my head is not like sweaty or gross. And the reason why I recommend a beanie is because at night it actually gets cold. Can you believe it? After like the whole hot day, it gets cold. And these are like so portable that you could just roll them up and it fits nice and easy into your bag. And if you can, if you have the room, I would definitely recommend, like I said, if, because it get, does get cold at night, to bring a thin sweater or like some kind of like thing to cover yourself because like I said, yeah, it gets cold, so use that. And last but not least, if you can, or if you have a bottle, definitely bring one. I think, okay, this is what I don't have clarified. First of all, it's a bitch to get into the water line. I am not gonna even lie about it. Like, I waited in it, and I was like in the back, and the line's not even moving. And what's even more shitty is like the fact that like, it's right next to each of the stages. So like, once the stage gets out, they're cutting through you. You don't know who's cutting the line to like, get water, or if they're just passing by. People are pushing into you, you're better off buying the bottles. It's just so much more convenient and then you could save them. And I think like if you um, have to collect so much or a certain amount or like 10, I think it's like 10 bottles a day, then you get like a free something. I forget what it was. But yeah, um, if you can, definitely bring one and try to fill it up. Like first thing you do or like as soon as like the line is dead, do it. If not, like I said, buy water. But um, I don't know if you guys know or if you have friends that know, but I don't know like if you take a camel pack if you're allowed to keep the water in it because you're not allowed to bring like any fluid or food or like those kind of things in your bottle so that's why you're allowed to bring bottles but you're not allowed to have like actual water in it so if you know like let me know in the comments below because yeah i have no idea so i will update you guys on my outfits that i'm bringing and i'm gonna do like a full on vlog type thing when it comes around Check out my video from last time I went to Coachella, which I'll put probably in the end plate or the end of the video or the links below. But yeah, if you're going, stay safe. If you see me, say hi. Um, yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye.